I'm Stephen Minden, I'm from the University of Reading and I direct the prehistory archaeological project here on the Isle of Isla in Western Scotland. We're at the Neolithic burial tomb known locally as the Giant's Grave. It's one of the largest prehistoric monuments on the island and has never been uh, excavated or surveyed in modern times. So we know very little about it. We're just here for a week with a group of students and professional archaeologists to make a professional modern survey of the tomb, both using looking at the standing architecture of it and also using geophysics to see what's buried in the ground around it. We're doing some small trial excavations nearby to see whether we can secure any charcoal for dating evidence. We're doing this project for two reasons. One is the academic um, rationale is one of my key interests is the appearance of these Neolithic burial monuments on the island. We think they all appear rather suddenly around 5,000 years ago and it marks one of the biggest transitions in human prehistory found throughout Europe, indeed other parts of the world as well, from a lifestyle of Neolithic hunter-gatherer people to Neolithic farmers. And in this part of the world they're probably herding cattle and, and sheep and, and possibly cultivating some crops. Now I've spent the last 30 years or so understanding the Neslithic settlement in the region, both on the Isle of Isla and the adjacent islands in the Hebrides. We've now got, I think, a fairly good understanding of that Neslithic lifestyle. When people first colonised, how they hunted game, fished, gathered plants, where they settled in different seasons of the year. But one of the questions that's always challenged me is, why did that lifestyle come to an end? And did those Neslithic people adopt a Neolithic lifestyle of building tombs like this to mark territory, mark landscape? Or were they pushed into extinction by new people colonising the region? So that's the academic question we're looking at. But for the people of the island of Isla here, monuments such as this are a critical part of the heritage. And this particular monument here within this plantation was gradually getting buried by peat, by heather, by bracken. So one thing we're doing is um, clearing it, recording it, as a contribution to the heritage of the island. And we want to put up displays in the museum, information boards about it, so both the residents and visitors to the island can gain a much greater insight into the prehistoric heritage of Isla than is available for them at the present day.